Hi everyone, welcome to Isle of Pharmacology. If you are not subscribed, please do subscribe to my channel. So let us learn about the nitrates mechanism in today's session. So as you know, the most common nitrates used are glyceryl, trinitrate and isosorbyl dinitrate. So basically these are the anti-angenal drugs. So when you administer the organic nitrates, it gets enzymatically denitrated very rapidly in the smooth muscle cells in the vascular system that is uh, in the blood vessels here the vascular smooth muscle will help in enzymatically denitrate the organic nitrates and following that there will be release of the nitric oxide so as you know that nitric oxide is a potent vasodilator it will going to stimulate the cytosolic soluble guanylyl cyclase and in turn it will increase the increase in the cyclic GMP levels increase in the cyclic GMP levels will activate the protein kinase activity that will dephosphorylate so protein kinase G will help in dephosphorylation of myosin light chain kinase so thereby there will be decreased availability of the phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase so the phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase is a active form which is required for the interaction of myosin with the actin so once there is a decrease in the availability of phosphorylated myosin light chain kinase it interferes with the activation of the myosin and following that myosin fails to interact with the actin so there won't be any contraction so it leads to the relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle causing vasodilation so the veins are more dilated when compared to the arteries here and one more mechanism which will help in relaxation of the vascular smooth muscle is the increase in cyclic GMP levels will help in reducing the calcium entry which also contributes to the relaxation of the vascular smooth muscles so as you know the veins are more dilated than the arteries it helps in reduction of the preload it helps in reduction of the after load and very important mechanism is it helps in redistribution of the blood to the ischemic area in angina so basically the this drug is used in the treatment of angina and coming to the side effects of nitrates the most common side effect is since there is a vasodilation it can cause throbbing headache and also it can cause postural hypotension where the patient can encounter flushing weakness sweating palpitation dizziness as well as fainting so this postural hypotension can be prevented by asking the patient to lie down following the intake of nitrates usually these nitrates are given through sublingual root which has got rapid absorption because it bypasses the first pass metabolism thank you